Hey guys, and welcome to my July TBR. So as usual, I am pulling cards from one of my tarot decks to determine 10 books that I will read in the month of July. So this month's tarot deck is the Adventure Time Tarot. So it's based on Adventure Time. So I thought too, with these cards, I'll do a little bit of a scene with whoever the characters are that gets chosen from the cards that I pull. But without much further ado, Let's get shuffling and pulling some cards. Okay, so the first card out is the chariot card. I hope, maybe if I put it to the side, is that better? And <laughs> this is Susan on there. I, um, I wanted to apologize for everything. You knew there was more to life than just the islands and I, I didn't believe you. I know you can't ever forgive me, but I am truly sorry. Don't sweat it. Awkward feelings averted. Let's have some soup! For this card, the prompt is choose a thriller book. So, for this prompt, I have chosen You'd Look Better as a Ghost by Joanna Wallace. And this says that this is a comic thriller following the trials and tribulations of Claire, a part-time serial killer who's keen to keep her favourite hobby a secret. Despite the efforts of a determined blackmailer, the night after her father's funeral, Claire meets Lucas in a bar. Lucas doesn't know it, but it's not a chance meeting. So it says, will Claire finish off her blackmailer before her pursuer reveals all? You can see in the background too, I've got Lumpy Space Princess. So she's a character from this, from this TV show. So that is my choice for Choose a Thriller. So the next card out, I got The Empress. So that's Jake's mum. Let's get started. These steaks are tough and stringy, like you. Oh, <laughs> good one, dear. Hey, after dinner, what do you say we check the ticker type for new cases? Margaret, you're on a family way now. You should take a back seat from investigations. Oh, come on, Joshua. Even with his ankle biter, I'm as quick as ever. Sure, my waist is bigger, but that just means more bullets in my ammo belt. So for this card, it is choose a book that has nature either on the cover or part of the plot or in the title. And for this prompt, I chose the book Heart's Ease by Kate Krummink. I don't know how to say the name. Uh, this one has beautiful pansies on the cover and they're some of my favorite flowers ever. So the synopsis for this is, I saw my mother for a long time after she died. I would see her out windows or in the corner of my eye. Always in the periphery, always a dim blur, but unmistakably my mother. The herness skating through every flicker and line. So this is about two sisters whose relationship has changed since their mother's death. And it is a sad, sly and darkly comic story about the weight of grief and the ways in which family cleave to us for better or worse. It's an account of love and ghosts so sharp it will leave you in paper cuts. The synopsis of this is quite poetic. That's quite a, a lyrical synopsis of the plot. So this was my choice for the Empress card. This is the next card I pulled. It's the Page of Coins. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone watch! I'm gonna do a flip! <laughs> and for this one, it is read the shortest book on your TBR. But for me, I've chosen the second shortest because I've picked the shortest for a different prompt that comes up later. And for this one, I ended up choosing Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. So I've heard a lot of people talking about this. Some liked it, some didn't. So this says Area X has been cut off from the rest of the world for decades. Nature has reclaimed the last vestiges of human civilization. The first expedition returned with reports of a pristine Eden-esque landscape. The second expedition ended in mass suicide and the third in a hail of gunfire as its members turned on one another. So this is the 11th expedition that's going in. And uh, I won't read any more of that. So this is a bit of a thriller, uh, an ecological thriller, I'm assuming as well. So that was my choice for Page of Coins. The next card I pulled is the Hierophant, and that's Lemon Grab. This castle is in unacceptable condition! And for this one, it, sorry, just Lemon Grab makes me laugh, is read a book of poetry. So for that, I've chosen Aphrodite Made Be Do It by Trista Mattia. So this is sort of a mixed media book with Aphrodite as sort of one of the main characters, I would say, in it. And it seems to be feminist leaning book of poetry. 
that was my choice. The next card is the Hanged Man. So this is a different version of Finn. <sighs> Sorry, dog, but I can't let you hurt Susan. I wasn't gonna hurt her. I was protecting her from you. Me, but I'm Finn Mertens, man. I'm a 100% hero. Everyone knows that. And for this one, it is choose a book that has mixed media in it. And the first book that came to mind, to mind for me was Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So I have seen this around for years and the biggest thing about it is the mixed media format. So I thought, you know what, let's just put that on the TBR to fulfill this prompt because to try and find a book with mixed media when I don't have the books on hand, very hard. But I thought that would be the perfect selection for the Hanged Man prompt. The next one is Temperance, and this is Bemo in this card. Who wants to play video games? Bemo! What do you think about the stars in the sky? That is an interesting response. But hello, shut down. Bemo, that was weak. And for this prompt, it is choose a book with an uneven number of pages. And surprisingly, this was difficult. Out of my whole TBR, there was only one that had an uneven amount on Goodreads. And that is Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin. So this says, experience the blazing, surreal sensation of a fever dream. A young woman named Amanda lies dying in a rural hospital clinic. A boy named David sits beside her. She's not his mother. He's not her child. Together they tell a haunting story of broken souls, toxins, and the power and desperation of a family. Samantha Schweblin creates an aura of strange psychological menace and otherworldly reality in this absorbing, unsettling, taut novel. So that is my choice for the temperance prompt. The next card is the Five of Coins. Well, well, from the shadows of dream, the dog wakes to find its, uh... The dog wakes to find its mangy tail flopping in the dust like a fish in a tree. That fish is me, Tiffany! <laughs> I'm coming, G! I'm coming! So for this prompt, it is choose a book you don't think is going to be a five stars. So I have chosen a book that is, has one of the lowest ratings on, on Goodreads because I feel like, okay, if everybody doesn't like it, it might not be. So this has a rating of 3.33. And it is hard copy by Fien Veldman, and the translator is Hester Veldmans. This is a story of Girl Meets Printer. A customer service assistant spends her long weekends printing letters. Her one friend is the printer, and in the dark confines of her office, she begins to open up to him, talking about her fears, her past, her hopes and dreams. And she's not about to give up her only friend without a fight. And it turns out, neither is he. So this is reminding me of that door uh, book that was going around, which was a door romance. A woman falls in love with her door. <laughs> it's giving that vibes because it's like, um, maybe this printer is sentient and an illicit love story is formed. But yes, 3.33, it's not great, but at least I'll have something interesting to talk about. So that's my choice. The next card is the Knight of Coins. Unacceptable! And for this one, it is choose a book that is one of your most anticipated. So for me, that is The Bound Worlds by Megan O'Keefe. This is the third book in the Devoured Worlds sci-fi series where a sort of lichen fungus thing is taking over worlds and human beings. And there is an enemies to lovers relationship going on. So it's a sci-fi book set in space with a sort of parasite uh, thriller aspect to it and evil corporations and family members and the, and the like. This is the third. The first book I rated five stars. The second was four something. So, so far it is a highly rated series. And the third one is coming out, I think either this month or next month. So is, I think should be out now, maybe. I actually should go and have a look. So that's my choice. The next book is the Nine of Coins. <laughs> You got a lot of meat, Wildberry Princess. Yeah, you know. Thanks for cooking looking for us. Oh, you're welcome, Pin. And thank you for answering my urgent summons. 
And for this one, I the prompt the prompt is a five star prediction. So I think the, the previous one could have been that, but I chose some, had to choose another book, obviously. So I have chosen The Tinker's Daughter by Josephine Angelini. This is the second in the Chronicles of Lucetopia series. The first one I rated a 4.75. And in this one, this says it is in the spirit of The Princess Bride, which is one of my favorite books and films. So a cozy fantasy novel where Jonara has been a good girl her entire life. And that's what nearly gets her killed. Being the only virgin for Miles made her the perfect candidate for a sacrifice to the village dragon. But lucky for Jonara, this dragon is different. Off virgins entirely and is opting for a pescatarian diet instead. Uh, I Like I said, I, I like that it kind of takes fairy tales and puts some kind of unique spin on it, makes it a little different from the stock standard narrative flow. And I like I said, I like the first one. It was just a bit young for me, which is why it wasn't five stars. But this one, I feel like it's a bit older. It doesn't say that it's YA, it just says it's fantasy. It's feeling a bit more adult. And I feel like the dragon and Jonata might, might be a thing. I don't know, it depends. Can he shift into a human form? Who knows? But I really like the first one. So that's my five star prediction. And the last card, which is features my favorite character. So this is the Hermit. The Hermit is one of my signifier cards too. That slumpy space princess on oh my glob. Oh my glob. What the stuff are you doing? Why are you cutting my lumps? Because they're uh, so... <gasps> I know you like me. No, I don't. I, I'm just stopping by because... Just admit it, lover boy. You can't resist me. Well, if you want these lumps, you gotta put a ring on it. Where's my ring? The prompt for this one is a book that I can read quickly, which I'm quite shocked that's what they've used for the Hermit. It doesn't, doesn't line up too much with the meaning of the Hermit. So I went through my TBR, I'm trying to find it right now, and I've chosen a book obviously that has a fewer number of pages. This one has 204, so quite small. And this is The Last Gifts of the Universe by Riley August. It's such a cute cover. And it says, a dying universe, a search for answers, an adventure at the end of a trillion lifetimes. When the home worlds finally achieved the technology to venture out into the stars, they found a graveyard of dead civilizations. What befell them is unknown. All home knows is they are the last ones left. And whatever came for the others will someday come for them. So this sounds really exciting. I think it's a space opera. Yes, uh, it's adult, it's queer, it's novella length, so should definitely get through that quickly. So those were all of the books that I have chosen for the prompts for this TBR with the Adventure Time Tower, which if you never watched Adventure Time, give it a go. It's a great show. I highly, highly recommend it. And until next time, stay wild, Star Child. Really? Oh my gosh, you guys! I just want to thank y'all so much! It means so much to me!